Hi, this is Kent Marco. Today, we're going to talk about workspace, keyframes, basic animation, and composition. Start, hit Command N or Control N for PC. This would create a new composition. You may also create a new composition via the menu bar. Find Composition, then press New Composition. These are your settings. 1920 by 1080 when in this to anything you want, uh, 15 seconds should be good. On your right panel are your tools and effects. This would become useful for animation and layout. On your left side is your media browser and effect controls. On the bottom is your layers and keyframes panel. Okay, you're all set. Now let's create a new solid by going to Layer, New, Solid. And here are your default settings. Rename the solid to anything you want and press OK. Now you should know your shortcut keys. Click on the layer and press P for position. Then press R for rotation. Then press S for scale. Then press T for opacity. You're good with these controls for now. You can also bring out all the attributes at the same time by holding down Shift and key in the shortcut key of the attribute. Okay, let's try moving this layer by the position attribute. We could also adjust the scale value, adjust the rotation value, and lastly, the opacity value. Okay, we can now animate the layer by pressing the stopwatch icon of the attribute we want to animate. Great, now let's move a few frames or seconds forward. Adjust the value and notice that it automatically adds keyframes for you. Let's scrub the timeline and preview our animation. We have now our basic movement animation. Now, by repeating the process, let's also animate the scale by clicking the stopwatch icon. Move a few seconds forward. You could also place additional keyframes by clicking the diamond button on the left. Adjust the parameters as you like. Now, we have position and scaling animation at the same time. Now, let's add rotation animation to our layer, repeating the entire process again. Press the spacebar to preview the animation. Now, let's place a new text layer to our composition. Go to Layer, New, then Text. Go ahead and type in anything you want. For now, let's type in Hello World. Let's change its font color and press OK. We could also adjust the font size by dragging or by clicking. We could also align this anywhere, like in the middle, by going to the Align tab. We'll now animate this layer as well. Bring out all the needed attributes we discussed earlier. Now, let's repeat the process of animating the layer. You may click all the stopwatches at the same time by sliding down. Move a few seconds forward then repeat the animation process. The animation is really rough right now. Do fix it along the way. Right click on a keyframe and go to Keyframe Assistant. You'll choose from these three for now. We'll use the Easy Ease. This would allow the timings to speed up as it gets closer to an Easy Ease keyframe. By going to the Motion Graph Editor, you'll see how steep the curve is. The steeper it is, the faster it goes, and the other way around. We can inverse the curve and make it go faster than slower towards the end. It gives that subtle momentum and velocity, but still rough. We'll do the same on the white solid, but now for both keyframes. We'll apply the inverse curve on both ends. You are now seeing the curves in action. It gradually speeds up, then roughly pauses for a bit, then speeds on. Now, let's do the same for the other parameters. Let's make the animation look smooth. Click on the icon next to the Motion Graph Editor. Toggle it on every layer to enable motion blur. The faster the animation, the more motion blur it makes. You may toggle the switch off to layers that doesn't need motion blur. 
See the difference with motion blur on and off. You're good to go for your basic animations. See you in the next tutorial. If you like this video of Under Ideas by Kent Marco, support us on Patreon slash Kent Marco.